take a deep breath and calm down. That's usually what I say to myself when I'm about to have a reaction to something that is kind of a hot button issue for me. But it doesn't always work because it doesn't always, one, calm me down, or two, help me provide alternatives to my natural way of reacting. Now, it doesn't matter where you come from or what your background is, whether you're Christian or not, whether you're a longtime believer or not, we all have those things that really drive us crazy. And I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's that person with 20 items in the 10 item checkout lane. Maybe it's the ways in which people drive too slowly or too fast on the highway or on the road. Maybe it's the ways in which people respond to slow moving traffic that really drives you crazy. Maybe it's something that your neighbor does. Maybe it's something that your family does. Maybe it's the fact that garbage just never gets taken out or whatever it is. There are things that really drive us crazy. And there's ways that we then naturally respond. And often that response is not all that helpful. Well, I once learned an improv game from improvisational theater that might help us to do that. In fact, that's exactly what it's designed to do. It's designed to help us to figure out what our natural reactions are, to provide us with alternatives, and then to help us figure out what might be the best alternative. Uh, I think it's called magic marker in some places. It might be called other places or other things in other spaces. The way that you work is you sit down with a couple of people and you just calmly kind of list out your different things that are kind of hot button issues for you. Like maybe the, the 20 item person in the 10 um, item or less checkout lane, whatever it is, you kind of list a bunch of those. And then you pick one or two for you to work on. And then, now remember, this isn't a long time. So you've got maybe a total of five minutes to figure this out. So you take a minute to kind of list those things. You figure out one or two of those particular hot button issues that you want to deal with. And then you come up with five different reactions. And there has to be at least one positive reaction and one negative reaction. So for the person that is 20 items in the 10 item checkout lane, your, a negative reaction might be for you to go up to yell at them and to take 10 of their items out and to throw them on the floor and say, there, now you can be in this area, right? That's a negative reaction and not all that helpful, although there are moments when we might feel like we should do that. A positive reaction uh, might be to have a conversation with them and to figure out why they're in that lane and why they need to go so quickly. A neutral reaction might be to just simply be quiet and to ignore the situation, right? So you come up with at least five different reactions, at least one positive and at least one negative. Some of them might be more difficult than others. And then after you do that, you, you kind of debrief together on what that's like. And remember, you're doing this together. So you identify together which reactions might be positive and which ones might be negative. And then once you've identified which ones are positive, which ones are negative, and which ones are neutral, you kind of figure out together which one might be the best one to do. Again, you do this quickly and you can come up with all kinds of different things and make them funny, make them whatever. But the point is that at a moment when your brain is calm, you're able to come up with different reactions. What might I do? And it's actually really good to just simply say, well, what if I blank? And so if you are like me and you have issues sometimes with controlling that knee jerk response to different kinds of things, I'd encourage you to do this practice and do it with somebody else. Go through and actually figure out and write down some different alternatives to reacting in a particular situation, a situation that is a hot button issue for you. We can all use a little bit more time, I think, for us to respond to situations, but we don't always get that. And now with anxieties running high for so many of us, we don't often get the opportunity to simply take a deep breath and relax. So maybe practicing a different way of responding would be helpful. If this has been helpful for you, I'd encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel and comment down below on some of the ways in which you have found your reactions to either get you into good spaces or maybe even to get you into bad 